thinking in that seventh inning when Judge makes contact that it looks like it's going out? Yeah, right away, just yes. Um, and then to see it bounce in the bullpen, you know, you're like, and and and, and just to see um, the spilling out and the excitement. And now I can't wait to watch all the different reactions of of people. Um, you know, he's as beloved as they come. You know, and I, I think everyone is just so excited uh, for him, um, but also. I think every, and, and I think it's partly because of how Aaron is, but everyone feels a part of it, and that's who he is as a teammate, and and that's I think part of the reason guys are so excited is because they feel like they're a big part of it, and that's a tribute to him. So, um, pretty awesome S setting up now for just a. a, a an amazing atmosphere, I'm sure, again, in the Bronx starting Friday night. And, uh, you know, it's a good script so far. <laughs> Garrett just said it, it almost felt like the team, they, that you guys were the only ones that were here in, in that moment. How would you describe, after he hits it, what that dugout felt like? Yeah, that, I, that's actually a good point. I mean, you are. You're in your world, and you're just trying to enjoy it with, you know, I mean, Guys are so close in there, um, um, but I, I actually, you know, there's something that kind of goes silent, and you're just in that moment in a crowd that's in a frenzy. Um, yeah, I think that's a good way of putting it. And you know, I, tr I, I, <laughs> I always try to look around a little bit. And Aaron actually gets on me sometimes when I don't react enough to one of his homers when I'm in the background of a shot. And I say, I'm trying to drink it all in, man. I'm, I'm slowing it down like you do. And he goes, all right, all right. So, you know, I, I immediately go into that mode. When guys are spilling out of the dugout, I kind of pull back. And I looked up at um, in the crowd, tried to find his mom and, and Roger to see that. And just try and look around, take little pictures of it. Um, but what really magical moment. Christine. Could you sense his relief after this last week? <laughs> you know, I, I do think there was a little relief. I, I think, look, he's handled it as well as you can, you know, but um, I, I think there was a little weight taken off of him for sure. I don't think it's something that's, you know, weighed, weren't worn him down or weighed, weighted on him too much. But that said, it's been a handful of days now and everyone paying close attention. So um, I think the smile was a little easier when he got back to the bench. Um, so yeah, I think there was a little relief there. Naftali. <laughs> Alan, you managed Yara Jones for the last five years. How you describe him, how important he is for the team? I, I just think he's the ultimate teammate. And I think the way I've kind of tried to sum it up here these last couple of weeks is that's really what he cares about, is being a great teammate and winning. And, and I've, you know, as I've said kind of over and over, like, I think when at your core, that's what your that's what your desire is, it kind of keeps things simple. I mean, he's not out there to be the hero or I, I got to do this or I got to do that. For five years, I've seen a person that is excited as can be when one of his teammates is right in the middle of a win, whether he went over or not, and we come in and we present the belt and talk as a team. He's just genuinely excited for his teammates and that we won. And 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 then I think when you're a great player and and you realize, you know, when you go out there, as long as I keep going out there, I'm I'm gonna have success. He has that confidence, but he never makes it about himself. A lot of people can talk that. He lives that. And he's just one of the he's 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 just an all-time kind of teammate, like, and the fact that he's the face of your team and your best player, um, and the fact that he is completely about others on the team, um, it, it just makes me proud to have been, you know, been his skipper for the last five years now. One or two more to the right. 
tail end of your grandfather's career coincides with the start of Roger's career. And tonight you see this come full circle. How does something like that make you feel and something you could look back on maybe years down the road? Yeah, I mean, you know, the history of this game <coughs> is 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 one uh, is one of its calling cards right all the the numbers the 61 i've known about that number for my entire life right um and and it's i think one thing that makes our sport a little more special than the others is the history of it all and the numbers and um you know i think we do history really well and this has been a year and a season and now coming down to the wire where um, we're in the middle of one of those magical historical moments that's tied to a number. And